All right, welcome back to the channel. We're working on a 1990 wheel horse 520h and this is what I'm dealing with here. This is the the little fuse box here. It's not sealed or anything, which technically isn't that big of a deal. I've seen some guys switch them over to where they are a waterproof sealed box, at least on the top. Um, well, my issue was my battery was losing charge and then I got it running today and it finally, like the, the charge was low and it wasn't charging to full capacity like it should have been and uh, it was getting hard to start like I'd have to bring a battery out and jump it basically well um, this was all caused well what happened here is the 30 amp fuse ended up just melting because it got so hot and the reason that it got so hot is simply because of corrosion on my battery terminals and it's usually the positive there um, so I'm just saying this is a testament to make sure that your battery connections are clean and the best thing to use is uh, once you get them all cleaned up is carbon conductive grease you want to put it all over every single connecting surface battery terminals both sides your wall both sides of your washers uh, the bottom of your I mean you probably don't have to do it to the bottom of your bolt but the bolt head but you can um, bottom of the nut that goes against the washers and then uh, you know make sure it's all fit together nice and tight and then that way the con carbon conductive grease will stop the corrosion but you don't want to use dielectric grease because that's an insulator it's not conductive the carbon conductive grease will continue to make contact so that's what I have in there now and I did that and then I was like oh, well I started it up and then I was like, all right, well, uh, obviously, <laughs> this is the problem. Uh, so, I it melted so much, I had to dig. And you can't, I'm not sure if you can even see in the video, but I had to dig all kinds of plastic out. Um, the 30 amp fuse was, like I said, melted in there, and yeah, it was just a mess. So, what I'm doing now is I took all the... the the connectors out and then you have a couple of hot that are jumped right here so I'm just gonna move everything over um, I'll being that the two red hot ones are that were that were jumped together these two right here they were on this side so I'm just gonna move them over and then the two pinks I'm gonna move right here so all these are good to go and yeah lesson learned so shouldn't happen again after I'm done here because I won't have to deal with any type of corrosion with the conductive grease so just figured I would uh, let you guys know that sorry about the noise in the background I'm right by my um, air conditioning unit outside so but if you guys found it useful and you guys like what you see hit the subscribe button and the alert bell and that way you can come on back check out what we got going on I do a lot of different stuff here haven't done a, a wheel horse video in a while um, and this needed attention figured it would be useful to someone so Okay, so I got everything buttoned up. Um, the only thing that's changed, really, other than the positions of these, I had to move. These two were at the end right here. So I just shifted them over and then put the one that was right here, right there. So I will, you know, if this ever gets sold, which I highly doubt is going to happen, I would have to let somebody know that. But yeah, at this point, I put all new fuses in, I cleaned up all the contacts. I put um, carbon conductive grease on all the contacts, new fuses, so should be good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the key and see what happens on the battery. It might be just really dead, so. That's a good sign, I wasn't doing that before. So I'm gonna get the jumper battery, we're gonna start it up and then see where the battery charging goes to. So hopefully my voltage regulator rectifier is not bad. I've already changed it once, but I did buy the voltage regulator off of Amazon, so that was a number of years ago. I put it on the other 520 that I have, and then I just never got around to using that other 520, so when the one on here went bad, I switched them, 
well, I didn't switch them, but I, I swapped out the old one for the good one, so. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I got the jumper battery hooked up. Let's see if we can get her started. Just turning the lights on there, so good deal. That's it for the video. I hope you found it useful. If you're having problems charging your battery, the first thing you always want to look at is your battery terminals, if they're clean or not. And you always want to make sure that those terminals are really clean and that you use carbon conductive grease. You don't want to use dielectric grease. Dielectric grease is an insulator. It's not conductive. So you don't want to put it on the contacts. And yes, I do understand that older manuals did say to put carbon, or put, uh, bolt grease or dielectric grease on certain contacts, well, you know what, they got carbon conductive grease and I'm here to tell you, they got it wrong. So, all right, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell, that way you can come on back, check out what we got going on. We got a bunch of different stuff on this channel, obviously. I mean, it's all engine related, mechanics, powder coating, restoration, stuff like that, variety videos, so. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Always helps out with the channel. So I always appreciate everybody coming back and checking out what we got going on here. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Come on back. God bless.